All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you a video analysis session that I did for a player from USF. He's playing D1 tennis and he's, he's having a lot of success. He's winning a lot of tennis matches. He's just having a few issues with his forehand volley. So he sent me a video. I said that I could help him. And here we go. No nonsense. All right, so a couple of things I noticed, Fook, is that one, you got an eastern forehand grip, which is not necessarily bad. Someone like Nadal volleys with that. I prefer to be a bit more continental. I think also because you're eastern, that does put you in a weak position on the backhand. So if you want to tinker with that, you can. But let's just say you're going to keep this grip. What I notice is you're a little bit out in front. So you're reaching forward. Sometimes your right shoulder gets in front of your left, which you probably want to try and keep your right behind your left. And then it seems to me that you're trying to push the racket out in the direction that you want the ball to go. And the issue with that is you end up doing this a lot because if I extend my arm forwards, this is a natural position to get into. So it looks like you're trying to serve me a beer every time you finish this forehand follow through because that's kind of the natural position that the arm and the racket are gonna get into. What I suggest doing, and I do this with a lot of people, is try and hit the forehand volley with the right shoulder behind the left and then come back to your ready position. So not, don't kind of flip it around like this. It might trail a little bit because you're putting a little slice on it. But see if you can come back around to your ready position instead of thinking about the volley being a forwards shot. This is really making you use a lot of wrist. You might do this if, say my opponent's over there in the corner and I want to get there early and I want to take it up the line. Maybe you start doing this to, to get it there, but that's not an ideal shot. So, Contact point a little closer, a little further back, and make the volley around with a slight open face instead of this way. All right, it looks like you're pushing the handle when really we need to be striking it with the strings. Give me a few easy ones, make me look good. I'll try and use your grip. Back around to your ready position. Forehand volleys, guy. There we go. So a little bit of slice and finishing almost back in your ready position. The racket's trailing a little bit, but make it a, almost a, a circular volley where you're coming around instead of out, where you're losing control of the racket head. So instead of reaching out towards my, where I want the ball to go, just bring it around. And even if you spray it a little bit right to left, that's not a problem. Just bring it around, back around to your ready position. Strings open. Right shoulder behind the left. So you don't look like you got this fruity wrist. Just one more thing. If you go to the description below, there's a link to tpatennis.com slash kick. And I've put together a 20 minute video on how to master the kick serve. So go check that out. It's free and I think it'll really improve your serve.